hardware wallets, a crypto miner's best friend. And my favorite happens to be the Trezor Model T. What is up miners and welcome back to the 3 Fox Company YouTube channel where we do rig builds, gear reviews and how to crypto videos. I am Jacques and in this video I'll be showing you how we set up the Trezor Model T hardware wallet. So let's get into the video. The Trezor Model T comes shipped completely sealed in neat packaging. On the front of the packaging the Trezor name and logo has been printed. On the back is a basic description of the Trezor wallet as well as some of the most popular supported coins. We have a look on all the sides of the packaging to make sure that there's been no tampering with the package and everything is intact. The Trezor Model T supports more than 1200 coins according to their website. Now carefully remove the packaging with a box cutter or a knife, making sure not to cut yourself accidentally. Once the wrapping has been removed, slide open the packaging and it reveals some text saying the safe place for your coins. If I slide it open further, I can now see the actual hardware wallet. To access the inside of the package, it has a magnetic lip and it can be easily opened. Once opened, again it has some text on the inside, which is actually more like a quick start guide. When we remove the small box on the inside, it reveals some additional items such as the USB-C cable to connect the device to your PC, some Trezor stickers and of course two leaflets where the list of seed words has to be noted down. Now when taking the Trezor Model T out of the box, carefully inspect the holographic seal, making sure that it's fully intact and that it has not been tampered with. Also included is a nifty magnetic base which can be attached onto any smooth surface and then your treasure can be held any place wherever you want to put it. Now you can come over to the treasure website at treasure.io forward slash start and then click on I already own treasure. It redirects us to a new page where we have to download the treasure suite app. Select the window icon and click on get desktop app. The download is displayed at the bottom of the browser and click on keep file to continue the downloaded file. Once the download has been completed, open the .exe file and click install. Once the install has been complete, make sure that run Trezor suite checkbox is checked and click on finish. Now the Trezor suite app opens and we must connect our Trezor to the PC with the supplied USB cable. Initially it did not detect my Trezor so I had to install Trezor Bridge as well. Go to the Trezor site and locate the Trezor Bridge page to be able to download the installer. Once again choose the Windows option if you are using Windows and click on Keep at the bottom of the browser. When the download has been completed open the installer and click on Install. This installation is also very quick. And once completed, click on next and start Trezor Bridge. So now we can reopen the Trezor Suite app and connect the wallet to the PC with a USB cable. You will now see your welcome screen displayed on the Trezor. We can now also see that the device has been detected by Windows. We just wait for Windows to finish installing the driver for this device. I've chosen not to share any information with Trezor, so I uncheck the Allow Anonymous Data Collection option and then click on Confirm. Now we are taken to the security page and we have three very important points to verify. First, make sure that the hologram seal has not been tampered with. Second, make sure that you purchase the wallet directly from Trezor. And three, make sure that the whole package has not been tampered with. We can now click on Set up Trezor and go to the next step. The Trezor is shipped without any firmware on it and the app will tell us to install the latest firmware. 
When we click on next, then the installation process will take a short while. Do not unplug or disconnect your wallet until the process is complete. Once the installation is complete, then click on continue, which will take us to the next step. Now we can either set up a wallet or recover a lost or broken wallet. In our case, we are setting up a new wallet. So this is the option we choose. We now have to back up our wallet. Here we get two options, which are the standard seed backup or the Shamir share backup. In my case, I'll be doing a standard backup. When I have to confirm this step on the device, it will take a second or two to process. So now back in the app, we can create a backup of our device. In this step, now we have to check and confirm each of the three very important pieces of information. One, check your backup in the device settings before sending any coins to the wallet. Two, never take a photo or make a digital copy on the backup. Obviously, we do not want any of this information on the internet. And three, keep your backup secured and never share it with anyone. Now we can create the backup. It is important to note that the Trezor will generate a list of words, which you have to write down on the recovery seed leaflet. You have to make sure that the order of each word and the spelling is correct, as this will be the information required to recover a broken or, st or lost wallet in the future. Do not lose your recovery seed as this is the only option to recover your coins. Also, once the list of words has been displayed, it will ask you random words to confirm. I will skip this part as I obviously do not want to make my recovery seed public. Once the backup is completed, now a pin can be created for the device. The pin needs to be entered into the wallet. This is an added layer of security for your wallet. Once the pin has been set, click on continue and now it will ask you to continue on the Trezor. On this page, additional coins to the standard ones can be activated. For now, we will skip this step as it can be done after the wallet has been set up. So well done, the Trezor Model T wallet setup is now completed. All that is left is to give it a name if you like. In my case, I named it 3Fox Co and then confirm it on the Trezor wallet. Once done, click on Access Suite, which will take us into the Trezor Suite. Here I select Standard Wallet, which takes us to our portfolio of coins. Obviously, mine is currently at $0 as it's a brand new device. Later, I will transfer my coins from Exodus Wallet onto the Trezor wallet. Please let me know in the comments below which crypto wallet you prefer and which ones you've used in the past. Also, if you found this video useful, please smash the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in the next video.